Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I have another vintage quilt block for you. This one is called Swing in the Center and this is a 12 inch block and I've made it with three different prints plus the white background. Um, this one is about an intermediate level block. Um, it does have a couple of challenges. There are um, some bias seams um, right here the yellow pieces have wind up with a bias edge uh, there's points to match and the block go, does not go together strictly in rows you create the center block first and then you have the rows around it so it's a little bit different and a little bit of a challenge so take your time working through this one um, but I think you'll like it I think it's a pretty block so I hope you'll give this one a try so I hope you'll stay with me and I'll show you how to put this block together. Here are the fabrics that you're going to need to make the swing in the center block. So you see we have a lot of pieces here and this block does not go together in rows. It's going to go we're going to build the center first and then put the pieces around the outside. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is we need to make some units. So we're going to make some half square triangles and some flying geese units. So for the half square triangles we need the B and the I squares. And we're going to make half square triangles out of these. So um, let's go to the sewing machine and we'll sew those. Now for half square triangles there are a lot of different ways to make these and this is the two at a time method so you're going to need to draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of your lighter fabric which for me is the white from one corner to the next and then we're going to sew a quarter inch away from that drawn line like that and then I'll sew a quarter inch away from that line on both sides. Okay, now I'm going to cut this apart on using that drawn line as my cutting guide. So now I have two half square triangles. So I'm going to finish the rest of these and then we'll press and trim these down because these are going to be a little bit larger than we need. We need a two and a half inch finished. These are going to be about um, two and five eighths. So we need to trim them down just a little bit. Okay, so now I need to trim all of these down to two and a half inches. So I'm just going to line up the seam with a 45 degree angle and then line up this edge and this edge with the two and a half inch mark. So I need to go on this side of my ruler. And this is actually really pretty accurate. So I just have a tiny sliver to trim off there. And then I need to trim off this um, dog ear, but I'm going to double check this. And yeah, that's good. So just trim that off. And then I'm going I'm to trim them all down like that. So it's just very little that I had to take off. So I'm going to go ahead and trim those down and then we'll make some flying geese units. Okay, so now we need to make flying geese units. So we're going to use the H rectangles and the F squares. And there's lots of different ways you can do this too. You can use foundation paper. Um, you can do, uh, there's a two at a time method. There's several different methods you can do. Um, but I'm going to put right sides together and I'm going to start on the left side and I'm going to sew from this corner to that corner and I'll do that on all four pieces then I will trim and press and then I will 
I'll sew the other side. So I have a piece of glow line tape on my machine here and it's lined up with the needle and it goes straight down. So what I do is I line up this point with the needle, this point with the edge of the tape, and then I'm going to sew straight down. I'm just going to keep this corner here aligned up with this tape and that will get me a straight line. Okay, just like that and then I'm going to trim off the outer corner leaving a quarter inch seam allowance and then I will press this up and then there's half of my flying geese unit. And now for the other side, I'm going to place these right sides together. And I'll just do the same thing. I will sew from this corner to that corner. I'm going to trim off that corner, trim off my threads here, and then I'm going to press up and I'll have my flying geese unit. So I'm going to do this to all four flying geese and um, then we'll start working on the center of the block. Okay, so now I have all four flying geese. So now we need to work on the center of the block. So we're going to take the C square and we need two G squares to begin with. And so I've got two of them. And we're just going to sew these together. We're going to put the C square in the middle. So I'm going to sew one G square and one C square together. And then I'm going to sew the other G square to the opposite side of the C square. So we're going to have a background, uh, a print, and then the background. Okay, so we have this. So I'm going to press towards the center square. Okay, so we have that. Now we need two E triangles. and one G square. And we're going to sew these together. So what we need is one triangle to go this direction. And then this triangle will go here. Okay, so what we're doing is we're having a straight line at the bottom and then diagonal lines at the top. So I'm going to sew these two first. So just um, when you download the pattern, which you can download free off of my blog, and there's a link in the description box, just follow the diagram and you'll get those all lined up correctly. Okay, so I have this, and then this one's going to go down here like that. So I'm going to sew those. Okay, so we have that, and then we need to. 
to do the same thing with the other G square and E triangles. Okay, so here's the other one. So I'm going to press and then we will sew all these pieces together. Now we're ready to sew all these together. So we're going to sew these two sections together here. So the seams are pressed towards the print fabric so the seams will nest just like this. You can see the seams are butted up against each other. So those seams will nest and you can put a pin in if you want to to keep them lined up and I'll do the same here. And you may hear that background noise. My husband is in the garage sanding something so it's hard to find quiet around here to film. Okay, so let's sew this. that and then we'll add this piece. So we have this odd shape here, but that's what we want. So we're going to go ahead and press. You can press whatever direction you want to. Okay, so here's the piece that we have. Okay, so um, next thing I need to do is to add the D triangles to actually these corners here. They're going to go right here. So we'll add those. So I have all of those corners on. I'm just going to press them out and then we'll have a square and need to trim dog ears. Okay, now that I've got the center section done, I want to trim this up a little bit. And mainly I want to get rid of the dog ears. Now this block should measure eight and a half inches square. And this is the ruler I have is an eight and a half inch square ruler. And there's a couple of places like right here where I didn't line up quite so well that I want to uh, fix. So I'm just going to start on one side and um, just kind of trim up where I need to. And I don't want to change the size of the block so I'm just going to cut off the basically just cut off the dog ears. And that'll make the block go together better. Okay. So here we have all the pieces out of the way. So here I have the center of the block. 
Okay, so next thing I need to do is to sew, sew it all together. So we're going to lay out the block first and then we'll do some more sewing. Okay, so here we have the center unit right here. And we're going to put all of these pieces. So we have flying geese, half square triangles, and squares. So we're going to put all of these in place and I'm going to start with squares in the corners. So here we go. Those squares. Um, flying geese units are going to go in the center. And the pink is going to go towards the yellow. And then the half square triangles. Now they're going to go colors all matching. So colors are, going to go, are all going to go together like that. So we have teal to teal and then the white goes towards the flying geese unit. So like that. So, okay, so now we're ready to sew all this together. So I'm going to sew all this in a row, all this in a row, and then sew these three pieces together on each side. Sew them onto the center and then sew these two rows on. So we'll go back to the sewing machine and finish this block. Okay, so I'm just going to sew each piece to the row. I'm not going to chain piece. I'm just going to sew them one right after the other and complete each row. Okay, so there's the first two pieces. Then I'm going to add the flying geese unit. And I've got everything laid out. In order so um, that keeps me from getting confused. on this row anyway I don't have any points to match so um, this will go pretty quick and one last piece here So here is the first row. So we have that. So I'm just going to lay that down and I'm going to do the bottom row. Okay, here's the bottom row. So we have that and I'm going to do this two sides. And I'm going to start over with the left first and then I'll do the right. Okay, so there is the left side 
and let's do the right side okay and there's the other side so I'm gonna press and then we'll put all the rows together okay so I am going to put on the side pieces first so um, I'm going to have to match some points here so if I can pull this up so you can see but I have points right here and then I have this point here and then I have points there so I'm just gonna put these right sides together and I'm gonna take a pin and I'm gonna put it through the point here so it comes through this way and then I'm gonna put it through the point in this piece here right there and I'm gonna slide those together and make sure the pin is straight and that the seam or the um, I want to make sure that I don't have this pin wonky it needs to be straight so I'm just going to pull it out and then I'm going to repin it through both layers like that so I'm going to go ahead and pin the beginning and for this point here I'm going to sew with the flying geese up so I can see that point and I want to sew just to the inside of the uh, crossed lines of stitching there so that I don't blunt off the point so I'm going to go ahead and line that up and pin there and then I need to match up these two points and I'm going to do the same thing go through this point and through this one And line up the fabric line up the pin and pin it in place and then pin the end there we go okay so that's a lot of manipulating so now I just need to sew this seam now you might find that one either your block or your row of blocks are a little bit one's larger than the other but you can put the larger one and on the bottom and your feed dogs will help ease all of that in but I want to have um, the row on the top so that I can see the points a little better And I'm just going to sew up as close as I can get to my pin before I pull it out. best to line all of those up okay let's sew the other side on okay these look pretty good too so I'm going to press this these two rows out and then I'll add the last two rows okay so when I pressed I these rows I pressed them open because there's a lot of bulk at the points so um, now I need to add the last row so I'll just do the same thing I'm going to match up seams and points and uh, get this last two rows on and then the block will be done Okay. 
Okay, so now we're going to press and then we'll take a look at the block. Okay, so here's the finished block. I still need to um, square it up a little bit, but I think it turned out pretty good. So um, I hope you give this one a try. It's a bit of a challenge. You've got um, some bias edges here. You've got lots of points to match and everything is just kind of turned. So, you know, you, you build the center of the block first and then you do the outer edges of it, the outer border. So it goes together a little bit differently. But uh, I think it's a pretty block. So I hope you'll give this one a try. Okay, well that is it for the swing in the center quilt block. I hope you'll give this one a try. And uh, this one may test your skills a little bit, but I think it will give you a lot of practice on uh, matching points and um, working with blocks that don't go together the traditional way which is row by row so I hope you aren't too uh, I hope this one doesn't scare you off I hope you do give it a try because it's a very interesting block and just use your favorite colors in it and I think you'll like it so uh, I thank you for watching and if you like this video please click the like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up and don't forget to share the video with your quilting friends and in the meantime I hope you are all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.